There was a fella that we worked with a few years ago, younger guy, very, very talented, very gifted athlete. In this setting, you get to know athletes very, very well on a personal level. But one day this gentleman I'm referring to came in and he just seemed off, showed up to the workout late and just like, and just, just wasn't himself. Like I said, you get to know these kids so well that you can tell when they're off. I think he's like 15, 20 minutes late to the workout, you know, nothing else like, hey, come on in to get more, just finish warm up, let's get you rolling. But something wasn't quite right and you could just tell. So I kept nudging him throughout the workout. I was saying, hey bud, what's going on? You know, I'm just like, nothing, fine. Followed up two or three more times throughout the workout, like, hey, what's, what's going on? Are you okay? I finally got him to say, no, I'm not right in the head. And sometimes something like that, you can almost brush off, just be like, always have an off day. But I kept nudging and be like, well, what, what do you mean? What's, what do you mean by that? Just, just kept saying, I'm not right in the head. So then kind of a little bit of a red flag. Next question goes, are you thinking about hurting yourself? And this particular athlete is like, not at the moment. Have you thought about hurting yourself in the past? Yes. And come to find out over Thanksgiving, this, this gentleman was admitted to the ER because he was having suicidal thoughts. I spent two hours that night with him after that training session uh, in my office and kind of went over the, the pressures of earning that college scholarship. I think at the end of the day, he just wanted someone to talk to and someone to be there for him. Honestly, it was, it was very eye-opening. It kind of raises more awareness for those types of comments as a coach where like, if someone says, hey, I wish I wouldn't woke up this morning. Well, us coaches most times not be like, well, yeah, it's because it's 6 a.m., like your alarm went off and you're tired, you didn't want to wake up. But is there actually something deeper beneath the surface of that comment? Is there more to this story that we don't know? And there's so much pressures and, and things that are going on in these kids' lives. We have no idea what's going on in, in home life and school life outside of these doors. You never know when, when that type of situation is going to arise. And it was coincidentally right around that time that we started looking at what are some different options that we can equip our coaches with and tools to handle that situation. So Sanford, in-house in we have with our behavioral health team, they were actually able to come to our facility and provide that service and educate all of our power coaches, all of our ATCs and several of our physical therapists and sports academy coaches. I think with mental health and, and behavioral health in particular, there's, there's kind of that stigma behind it. If it's not made aware of like your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, your anxieties of what you're dealing with are normal, I think that just deters people to, to instead of reaching out for help, they try to handle that matter on, on their own. And you never know what that looks like. That mental health component is a huge part of sports and that character development is just as big of a piece as the bigger, faster, stronger. Um, bigger, faster, stronger will get you to a certain point, but if you can combine that with that, that character development, that's gonna take that athlete a heck of a lot farther. A lot of the athletes we work with on a day-to-day -day basis are gonna be our future nurses, doctors, lawyers, leaders in the community. So even outside of the training aspect, you have the ability to mentor those kids on those basic life habits that can set them up for success, not just in the sport, but hopefully those habits are developed and formed and then those are the habits that they take with them as they pursue their future career.